two, which is um not missionary, but thing. <laughs> no child pay on no attention. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh. Tyrone Williams. Uh, I'm assuming he's talking about Keith. I mean, who else could he be talking about? <laughs> talking about okay, right. missionary, but they. <laughs> okay, okay. So topic number two is um, are you sexually satisfying your partner? either currently now or either in the past are you sexually satisfying your partner or are you lacking certain bedroom skills i can start i'll be honest okay all right uh we can go uh how do you want to take this i'll let you lead the way i'm gonna try to be as vague as possible i might just end up telling my business but hopefully it won't get that far i'm not that far down in my drink yet, Look, so. okay um <laughs> um as far as sexually satisfying, or I won't say satisfying, because I feel like anyone who's I'm not saying anyone, but if they left me, they were satisfied. But do I feel like maybe I I can do more? Okay. Yeah. I don't I don't consider myself <laughs> adequate. Okay, so so like if we had a scale, right? Where it was like uh, expert on a sex scale. You have expert, you're expert at sex. You're like good. Or <laughs> lacking some things, you know. So you got expert. Okay, we're gonna say expert, fair, good, poor. Where would you fall? I'm between poor and good. <laughs> no, I'm, if I'm being honest, I mean, whatever. Okay, okay. That's, you, whatever that's but you rating yourself. Rating that's yourself. me rating myself, right? I can't okay. speak for other people. Right. So me rating myself, I think that there are things that I'm lacking, but I also think I haven't, nece not necessarily had the opportunity, but I haven't allowed myself to get to where you need to be exactly okay which i would love to i would love to like actually because you know they have like those classes i didn't know that however they I'm do not they I'm have not like you know let me not demonstrate but they you know they have like the the d sucking classes like where they you know practice and stuff okay let me then, you know okay. they have like um it's not dance classes but it's something along the lines of that like you know getting right. on top and stuff like that i would if COVID but, wasn't happening. That was probably something I'd be so mentioning right now. They have classes where they teach you. I, I mean, but you know what? I'm not surprised because they do have like pole dance classes and, you know, but. Class for everything. Trust and believe. Especially here in California, there's a class for everything. Wow. Well, you know me. I'm from the South. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a good old porn hub, bitch. <laughs> I will get on porn. Um, first off, I'm frugal. So I like to save money. So, uh. Uh, it's, I think Pornhub is like the YouTube of sex, you know? So oh, when I, yeah, okay. okay. So when I want to learn something, because I, uh, me rating myself, uh, what I said, expert, fair, good, poor. I am between, not in between, I'm going to say I'm uh, fair. I'm fair. I feel like I'm fair. Um, there's about two things that I haven't, <laughs> that I, uh, don't be too quiet, Keisha. We ain't got her yet. <laughs> there's like two things that I, one thing for sure I need to work on. And then there's one thing that I say, I ain't doing all that, bro. I ain't doing all that. Like you, you're doing too much. So the one thing I'll, I'll, lead to people's imagination the one thing that I need to work on but the one thing that I say I'm not like calm chill out is anal like I don't know about all that but I like do you know guys would try to mind fuck you to into doing those types of things like they but like, you know they got anal bees I'm like who the fuck want to walk around with bees but you know what it's so funny that they want to do that so bad but they don't want to reciprocate it because I heard that the male <laughs> default is in their anus let me tell you something. I will trick, not trick, but 
just to see how far a guy would go, just like how they be trying to see how far we would go, like with three cents and stuff, because I'm not with all that. I feel like I'm a big girl, so you don't need to, you know, I'm enough. All right. So I just recently learned about Remy. Are you familiar with Remy? I never heard of it. And when I listen, I don't know if the government is hacking my 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 phone, but oh when gosh. they when they go through my phone, they're gonna believe what kind of freaky shit is she on. But let me tell you, when I found out about Remy, like I was watching video after I was like, females really do this shit? Like a lot of men, they're not gonna admit it, but I heard they I mean, like I'm not gonna it. do that. They like it. They like it. Cause I heard, I don't know where I heard this from. I cannot remember. I don't know if it was like a documentary or what, but basically like we're back to the anal beads, like they would put it up his butt, right? A they would strict, put up his butt and he would meal. leave it in there during intercourse, right? And so right when he was about to reach his climax, she would pull it out. And that made it like 10,000 times like, more intense for him. Nasty bastard. <laughs> Mick nasty. <laughs> that is crazy. No, I'm not doing all that. But um okay. So- in, I, I'm laughing a lot. Just <laughs> we're not doing this. <laughs> it's not confession time. No. But for those of you who are not familiar with rimming, rimming is where for what I saw was where like if a girl is giving a guy oral like he's on his back and she's like in between his legs and then like this guy literally picks up his legs like this <laughs> look at it like a girl you know like he picks up his legs and she spreads his cheeks open and then she just starts taking her tongue and she's just like a little lollipop and while she's doing that she's you know and I'm just like look at him enjoying that look at him Look at his little nasty ass. I'm like, look at Keith. Are you familiar with? Have you heard of Remy before? You know she ain't. I mean, honestly, if I was a guy, I've, I've I would heard probably... of some stuff. I've heard of some stuff, but I have to tell you, the dudes I know, the family, and all that stuff, they ain't too much going down for that now because they consider that some gay shit, gay stuff. But, but now keep in mind though. If that's what he loves, I mean, then they can have that or whatever. It really, it really doesn't make him gay, though. I, I have to say that it doesn't. I mean, not make him gay, technically, no, it doesn't. You're right. I, it, it's just the, the ones I know just that they ain't going down for that. The I've I, never met anyone who was down for that. Oh, uh, you but, mean like, like you said, pause, pause, that technically, pause. not you technically, mean, but it doesn't make them gay. You mean a straight man that y'all know doesn't? Right. Right. Yeah. Well, well. Yeah, I think a lot of the men that we know that's in our lives would consider that some gay shit or whatever, even though technically it's not. But I guess gay shit would be just having any type of sexual experience with another man or with the same sex, rather. Um, But if it's a woman that's doing it, because then it goes into like pegging. I think it's like pegging or whatever. Like, are you familiar with pegging? Like, I think pegging is where like the girl puts on like the strap on and she... For sex, like you said, the climax, Courtney, like the guy gets off on that uh, arousal, you know, from behind, you know? I'm trying to tell you, the, I, and I truly believe this, not that I know from experience, let's put that out there. I don't know this from experience, but from what I- so you, so you didn't do any independent research? No, 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 no. This is stuff that I've heard like experts right. talk about or, you know, like, you know, stuff like that. That the the male uh, G spot is in the anus. So so basically so so you're saying more men need to start. I'm not saying they need to do that because <laughs> me personally, I done had a lot of girls talk about you telling me, oh, I should try anal. Like all you got to do is relax. Da, 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 da. I will never I, find out. Thank you on that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like they're like, it feels like so good. It's the best. Da, 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 da. No, it don't. That may be true. Um, I'm not going to find that no, out. No, it don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know who is it. Stefan Kirsten. Hey, Stefan. That's my cousin. Okay. Well, cousin <laughs> said he arrived. 
he was like do he was like do studs make better pa- step parents well let me tell you and then he was like actually it's the h spot no homo oh and he said nah that's dirty what's dirty the, uh be specific stefan what's dirty uh that is it is that damien that's for you courtney though I know he said, What are you lacking, Courtney? Though, take another shot of your drink before yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna oh, be specific, but just know. Oh, Stefan <laughs> said the booty hole that's nasty. <laughs> I agree, Stefan. I agree. Stuff is supposed to come out, not go in. That's what I said. I was like, it's 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 an external, not internal thing, you know. But um, as far as like the okay, so you said the question about was, um, are you sexually, do you feel like you're sexually satisfying your partner um, or are you lacking certain bedroom skills? So Courtney, you say what you said. So Keisha, how do you feel? So on a scale, rate yourself. Are you in the bedroom when you was, before you found Jesus? Is it expert, fair, good, or poor? So yeah, going off the past, um, past. I never had any complaint. Okay, because you, you're rating yourself. You're rating yourself because I mean, if we were rating, uh, if other people, if we was going about other people, then I mean, I'd be off the scale. I mean, I'd I got not. exes calling me. It's the holidays. I got exes calling me now. So, can relate. I, I <laughs> you kill. I can't me. say. <laughs> I can't say expert because there's some things that I just refuse to do. Okay, that that was asked of you, right? That, okay, that, that, okay, okay. So you know, so I can't say expert. All right, I know it wasn't poor. Okay, and then so what, like, what you said? You said you sound like sound good. like you're going fair or good. And so you're either good or fair, right? Yeah, it's either so, good or fair. So, so which one? You in in the middle because you got poor at the bottom, good above poor. Fair above good and an expert. So we're gonna be in the middle of fair and good. Okay. Now, I, you know, I I might be, that's a huge might. You know, might want to <laughs> probably become an expert for my husband. Oh but, yeah, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But you know, just dealing with the past, like they weren't sticking around, so there wasn't no need to pull out no expertise <laughs> for them or none of that stuff. You said they weren't sticking around. They weren't sticking around anyway. They ain't here now, so. We ain't, ain't none of us got no hints why the podcast is called Successfully, Successfully Single. <laughs> we got our shit but together. You know, my problem is I overthink everything. I mean, but it's it's not your fault. It's not it's their fault. It's the men's fault. Because if I, it was the dude. I don't right, necessarily think that because I've been given the room to try. Or not necessarily try, but to practice. Does that make sense? But I'm just so afraid of being like, just like, huh? Disappointing. Yeah, like, cause you know, some. I mean, some guys are just really nice. They're just gonna be like, you know, keep going, you're doing great. You know, just keep da 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 da. But in the back of their mind, they're probably like, what the fuck is this bitch. Let me <laughs> tell you something. Let me tell you something. I had a guy one time. My thing that I'm lacking that I need to work on, practice on. Oh. He texted me and he said he was like. You know, it was a, it was during roach hours. <laughs> you know, they when they come out at night, you know, it was during roach hours. And he was like, I want to see you. And he was like, yo, you need to practice on blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I told you I ain't know how to do that. <laughs> like, I told you. So, but I appreciated that he said that, you know, and he actually wanted to practice with me. But it was me. It was like my. It was me. It wasn't him. Like I'm a big girl, so I didn't. I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. You know, I was just like, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> you know, and he was, and he was like, girl, if you don't get your ass up here. You know, and I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no. But now, you know, I'm like, because I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to you know, do some things, you know, move on with my life. And now the the people, a person 
you know, that I'm talking to, I'm like, you want to, you want to not necessarily impress them, but you want to go in like confident, I guess. You right. Know. Exactly. You want to go in confident. Exactly. You know? Cause you know, you already do, you know, we talked about the sexting on the last episode. So during sexting, you know, sexting, I'm the shit. I'm an expert. Like I'm an author. You know what I'm saying? I'm an author. Whole author. But then sometimes when they be it's like, oh, prove, here, you know, they be like, uh, prove what you was talking about. You know, all that shit that you was talking about through the text message was good. You be like, now, you know, I don't know how to, <laughs> like, sometimes you gotta back that shit up. And I'm just like, I mean, I thought we was just playing. <laughs> I thought it was just funny. That's why you, you gotta be careful what you say. That's what I'm saying. I I'm whenever learning. I'm doing stuff like that, I'd be very careful because if it ever happens to where we get to that point, I'm not gonna uh uh-uh, not me. Let me tell you something. I am a freak when it comes to um a freak when it comes to sexting. No, but I got boundaries. I'm still not doing the anal. I don't care if it's a it's a mental, like a mental thing, you're still not fucking me in my ass mentally. I'm not doing that. Now some other stuff, you know, I'm a freak. You know, I'm like, oh, I'll do this and I'll do that. But um, I don't know. It's just like it's exciting. It's like I don't know. It's just it's amazing. I like. I actually kind of like sexing. Like that's why I say it's foreplay before the foreplay. So yeah, like I mean, when, when the when they pull up, it's already like exactly I, sexing is, is. I mean, this is going back to the last episode, but like sexing gets you hype. It it really like sets the tone. But when you start saying stuff that you refuse to do, <laughs> well, that's I, when you you gotta be careful. You know, you be like, I thought I just thought we was, you know, having a good time. <laughs> you know, but I don't. I I kind of stay away from certain things. You know, I like I said, the things that I know I'm not gonna do. Hence, anal. Like you would never. You know, we're not doing that. Even through text message, I'm not doing. Um, but yeah, so, oh, uh, Stefan is going in over here. So I'm assuming What's he was talking to me when he said, be honest, we're all adults here. So I was, I was honest when it came to, cause we did have to talk about the past. Like he probably I, said that before you started talking. And then, well, you, that's possible too. And then he said, when Ashley said something about practicing, no, yeah, practicing. He said practice. Um, talking about what we practicing again. When you talking about practice, okay, so, like I feel like okay, this is what I this is what I just learned as an adult. First off, I feel like your friends with benefits. You know that person where you just having a situation shit with roach hours, sneaky links, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think that's when you take the opportunity to learn what you need to learn. Like, because there's no feelings involved. Like, um, I don't want to be seen with you in the daytime, for real, for real. Unless we got 5% tent. <laughs> um, that's your opportunity to let that person teach you what or y'all can learn together. Because both of y'all may not know how to do certain things, you know. Like, let's say, for instance, like, he's lacking the oral pleasing of the woman skills. So he can use her to practice that and let's say she's lacking the oral skills of him you know pleasing a man they can practice with each other what they call that shit six nine and not no takashi you know you can practice so i think you should choose a person just go through your little messages do whatever and choose a, a sneaky link person Oh, wow. oh no, I can't relate on that situation. But oh, uh, according to Lee's, you're turning down offers, which I don't blame you with certain of certain some of them, but you know. <sighs> okay, so Stefan said you can't be afraid. Afraid what? And then he he said you can't be afraid. And then he said um the same with him, sex and he can write a whole novel. It's so it's I believe like, that. I believe that Stefan wholeheartedly. <laughs> And that's your people, Courtney? That's my cousin, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, like, sexing is, like, an imagination. Like, it's just, like, oh, okay. Because, like, I'll type something, and then I'll be like, nah, I want to, and then erase, erase, erase. And, you, and then you just start doing it all over, and then you read it again, and you be like, okay, send, you know. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, it's, you know, whenever <laughs> this is a sidebar, but you know, whenever I be sending like messages like that, whenever I finally send whatever I decide I'm gonna send, I always put my phone down. Why? <laughs> because I can't handle the <laughs> waiting the anxiety. On the oh my god! I'm trying to tell you, I overthink everything. So if I send a text, I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> But you, you're going to hear it, though, right? Like, you're going to hear the ping. Well, not necessarily, because I keep my phone on vibrate most of the time. So okay. I'll, like, put my phone down, try to get distracted with something else, and then, like, I'll randomly pick up my phone. I'll be like, oh. I don't even have my notifications to where when I pick up my phone, I can read it. <laughs> so you have to go looking for stuff. I have to go in the app to look at it. It'll show me I have a notification from that person, but Why it won't. That? For situations like that. Or if oh, someone else God. picks up my phone. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, when with the iPhone, if it's, if it's uh, for at least, well, I think all iPhones do this. But, like, if your phone's, like, you have, there's a feature on there where if you lift up your phone, it lights up. Okay. So, if I have a message or something and someone lifts up my phone, I don't want them to see my message. Oh, okay. All right. So, are we closing out? How do you want to close out this uh, question, too, uh, about sexually satisfying your partner, our practice? So, Courtney, how do you plan on fixing your problem i mean clearly i need to find a situationship correct or something like that something someone who's willing to teach me and understands that i am uh very scared of embarrassing myself so now they gotta be gentle with me okay please be gentle with them okay so now when you decide to choose this situationship you don't want feelings attached or or would you like for it to possibly have feelings attached like y'all could potentially be something because you know as women we can't we we try to be like a guy where we'd be like i'm not gonna like him but then you'd be like why you ain't calling i mean ideally the next person i'm with i would like to actually be at least in the process of doing something more and more on the same page that this is becoming something more but the way it's looking for me, <laughs> I know that then probably the next thing that happens for me is going to be like a situation shit. But that's just me being realistic with myself because I've already done. I know I know my role in this world. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, first off, I would like to say uh, for all situation ships out there, do not feel guilty about them. They oh. are needed to prepare you for who you're supposed to be with you know all right so what about you Keisha? like are you going to how are you gonna handle or become better move bump yourself up to great for your next relationship or are you just gonna wait until you get into that relationship and say hey i'm lacking blah 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 so if it gets to that point you're gonna have to teach me a couple things um probably i don't know i probably would wait until i get there for the simple reason um i might could learn all this stuff and he not care for it he might not like it because you know i plan for my next relationship to be last but uh that's a goal and uh i'm with you on that right so I rather wait, <laughs> right? I rather wait till you know me and him get together, to, so then I can become basically so I could be his expert. Let me put it that way. Okay. Okay, sister booty. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, I, I want to be my husband's expert. Right. Like okay. That. Okay. So realistically, that's what I bring to the, the show. I've been considering. Promoting someone <laughs> to be my situation. <laughs> and it's weird because in the pro- <laughs> what? I'm just, I got options. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Can't relate. Go ahead. Go <laughs> so I was considering uh, promoting somebody to my situation to help me um, become better at what I know men like, you know? Uh, but in the process of that, I actually met someone that I like. So I'm kind of like on the fence of like, 
uh, should I just continue talking to the person that I like and then he just teach me what he likes because I'm also hoping that that is the, my last person as well you know ready to slide the ring from the right hand to the left hand you know what I'm saying but uh I'm trying to uh, but they got into um February and then by February my situation is about to be promoted I'm, I'm prancing I'm prancing 